This video is brought to you by WeGotSoccer.com, offering all the latest soccer gear at everyday low prices. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on feed video of the Nike Wardor Chukka. As you can see, it comes in this brown Nike sportswear box, and I'll give you a look at the label on the box as well. It reads Nike Wardor Chukka, size 9.5 US, and the colorway is BRQ Brown, BRQ Brown, and Jim Red, with a retail price of $85 US, but you can get them for a little bit less. I'll actually have links up on the review page of my website for these guys um, for a price of about $75, so go ahead and check that out if you are interested in a pair of these for yourself. Really happy with the overall looks and quality here. Obviously, this is not a super desirable shoe, but where I live, the weather is not always favorable. I'm not living in LA or somewhere really where it doesn't snow and it's always warm. I live in Canada, so it snows more often than not, especially through the winter. And I'm not one of those people that's going to go out there in the winter time when there's snow and salt on the ground and wear a $150, $200 pair of shoes. It can just really destroy them. So something like this, where that's not all that expensive but still looks good, is something that I usually am going to wear in the winter time, at least casually. Obviously you have a brown suede upper all throughout. The quality is really, really nice. It has some nice grain to it. And again, brown suede always looks really good. It kind of has more of a dressy look to it, which is why I picked them up. They remind me very much of the Janoskis from Nike. I have a pair of those. I'll actually leave an annotation on screen to that particular video if you do want to check that out. But as far as the cut on this shoe is concerned, that's why it's got the it's called the Wardor Chukka. That is the cut on the shoe for those of you that didn't know. It's basically this kind of straight cut here right above the ankle, which is somewhat unusual, but I actually do like the look of. Um, this is something that you're probably going to be wearing with pants more often than not. But again, you could wear with shorts if you did want to you have this little leather strap running down the back here with a little pull tab and then of course you have the kind of impress the kind of pressed in imprinted um, nike logo very small here at the top of the right ankle and or the outside of the ankle sorry and that's really the only nike branding other than the nike logo on the top of the tongue you can see you have the gold lace holes here with the red laces again it kind of all flows really nicely there's not really a well, there is a seam but you can't see it really because it's covered by the laces for the tongue so it's really really smooth you have kind of this jagged stitching here the zigzag stitching which looks really good then you have the little perforations here at the uh, toe box or top of the toe box but again the quality is really great it's nice brown suede all the way throughout and then the liner on the inside is kind of like this tan color as well as the insole with the little red nike logo on the inside as well sure you guys can see that not really all that important and then as far as the midsole is concerned you have a kind of like an off-white almost cream like color midsole with the red stitching going all the way around the outside of the shoe kind of like as, as an accent color really does look good and then the bottom here is kind of like this recycled rubber colorway it's a white rubber and then you have kind of these little red and blue and different color speckling throughout very small speckling it's not like an intended speckle like i said it's kind of like a rubber a recycled rubber material that's kind of the look it has to it and again it's the bottom of the shoe it really doesn't bother me all that much but i think it looks pretty good nonetheless and of course you have the nike logo here in the middle but that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion is concerned and we'll move on to what they look like on feet all right, here's a look at the Nike Wardor Chukka on feet while wearing a pair of shorts. And I think they look pretty good, to be honest. I have them laced up two different ways. One traditionally with the laces out in front. And then on my left foot, I have them laced up with the laces kind of tucked behind the tongue so you don't see anything exposed. And I think it looks good both ways. However you want to wear it, it's really up to you. Um, something that I didn't notice until I put them on feet is that this lace section is really high up and there's a fairly long toe box on here. And it actually comes to a bit of a point. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a lot of extra room in the toe even though this is my normal size so just keep that in mind they do have a little bit of a pointed look almost a more dressy look to them especially on feet that's what they feel like to me a little bit like dress shoes but that's pretty much what they look like on feet i'll give you a quick 360 tour and like i said that's what they look like with a pair of shorts and i'll give you a look at them with a pair of pants next all right here's a look at the wardor chuckas on feet while wearing a pair of pants again one laced up traditionally one laced up with the laces behind the tongue however you want to wear them either way they look good that classic clean look with the kind of minimalistic design elements there's no nike swoosh on the side give this shoe a really dressy look especially while wearing them with a pair of pants so like i said if you want something that looks a little bit more 
um, dressy, this is something you should definitely take a look at. I'll give you a full 360 here so you can see exactly what they look like. Then I'll give you a quick close up so you can see some of the details on here. Again, really clean looking shoes. And I definitely do like the classic look that they have on offer. But that's pretty much it as far as the on feet portion is concerned. And I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right, guys, well, that's it for my review of the Nike Wardor Chukka. Classic design, high quality brown suede upper, and I like the Chukka cut they used on this particular model. As far as getting a pair for yourself is concerned, like I said earlier, there will be a link in the description to the review page of my website where you will find a buy it now link for this particular shoe. You're also going to find on that review page the high quality images of this particular pair that will give you a better idea as to how they actually do look in person. As far as comments are concerned, if you do have any questions regarding this particular shoe, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you could leave a like on the video as well, it would be greatly appreciated. Other than that, guys, if you did enjoy the video and you're not subscribed to the channel already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram, my account name is Vujo Josh, which you'll also find linked in the description. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.